a paragraph? A paragraph is a distinct section or piece of writing, and it usually deals with maybe a single theme. It's indicated by a new line with indentation or sometimes numbering, but we're gonna focus on learning about indentation. Let me show you what a paragraph looks like in a text. This is from Clementine. Do you see that this is a very distinct, clear paragraph? Yes. Do yep. you see how it indents? Yep. Okay, does a period end every line? No. no, because the text wraps around to each line. And so when you are writing a paragraph, you are not writing a sentence and then stopping it and going to a new line. You are continuing. But the hardest thing about writing a paragraph is, oh my goodness, I don't know what to write. Well, let me show you. A well-developed paragraph has three parts. Okay, notice I said well-developed. A well-developed paragraph or a good paragraph has a main idea or a topic sentence. It tells the reader what our paragraph's going to be about. It has at least three supporting details. This usually translates into three sentences. It can be more. Occasionally, you may see a paragraph with fewer. I am telling you, though, that I am expecting you to build three good sentences at least. Then finally, it ends with some kind of a wrap-up sentence. It's usually nothing new. It just sometimes restates the main idea in a different way, or it leaves the reader with a feeling at the end. The wrap-up signals that this topic is finished and we're ready to begin a new one. We're ready to start a new paragraph. So, I have given you my ideas for writing a paragraph. I'm going to write about if I could have any pet I wanted, it would be a bird. So, I plan a main idea on the spot. See my circle? So when I see a circle, I think, boom, main idea. Then I have three details here marked out. And then finally, I'm gonna wrap it up with a feeling. I use a triangle for that. These are symbols that just always remind me. Main idea, detail, 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 wrap up. So the main idea of this paragraph is going to be if I could have any pet and it would be a bird. Now, am I writing my paragraph right here? No, I'm planning it. This is the thinking. Good writers always start with some kind of a plan in mind. And so one thing that I teach my fourth graders when they're writing response letters is how now to plan out their thinking about something they read before they jump in and write. So I'm planning out my main idea. It's gonna be about having any pet at all. It's gonna be a bird. My details, I'll need to get a cage for it. I think my bird could use a perch and I better feed it in some way. So maybe some seeds. Now, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm not telling about anything new I would need for my bird. I'm gonna tell how I would feel. I would love it. I would love having a bird. So, I have just planned out all of the sentences for my paragraph. I'm now ready to write it. And this plan is kind of like a little mini checklist. Can I go through and check off the parts as I write them? Yeah. Absolutely I can. And that's what I'm going to do. So here comes my nice neat paragraph. The first thing I do is indent. This is a big set of space here. I do not line it up with the line when I'm writing a paragraph. So I start here. All right. If I could... Any pet I okay now I'm gonna come all the way over because this is not a new paragraph. Right, I'm not writing a new paragraph. Any pet I wanted 
I would get a bird. Now, I am in the habit of using capital letters and punctuation correctly. I'll still go back and reread and check at the end, but for me, this is a habit. So, check, do I have my main idea sentence? Mm -hmm. yes. Now I'm gonna move on to my first detail. First detail? Check. Now I'm going to move on to the next detail. Pet! Bless you. My pet bird would probably love a, and you know what? Instead of perch, I'm going to change my mind and call this a swing. Can I do that? Yeah. Can I change my plan? Yeah. Sure would probably love a swing. Check. Now I'm on to my third detail, right? <laughs> of course, I would need to feed my bird. seeds. Okay? Is everything in this paragraph about having a bird for a pet? Yes. The main idea is about having a bird. These are the things I need for the bird. Now I need to wrap my paragraph up. Make me so happy. I would love it. Okay, did I provide a wrap-up sentence? Yes. So can you very see, clearly see that I have a main idea? I have one, two, three supporting details, and then I wrap my paragraph up. Pretty simple process. I'm going to have you practice this pro process, and I'm going to give you this as the topic. If you could teach a bird to sing, what song would you want it to sing to you? You are going to need to plan a main idea. I've got a space at the bottom for you to plan this out. You are going to need to plan at least three good details and then you are going to need to plan to wrap it up. This is going to be your job. 